Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with another assembly kit. This one here is made by Wooden City and it's called the Kinetic Picture. Well, what's a Kinetic Picture? I, I also know these Kinetic Sculptures. I know them from, for example, Pinterest. Um, they are made usually from wood and they are some sculpture that has some kind of a relaxing, hypnotic effect based on the movements, based on the patterns they create. And I think this is something similar here. There will be some movement inside here, driven by these gears over there. And I'm really looking forward how this might look like when it's done. Okay, so it comes in this box. It has a wooden frame that protects it very well, as you can see here. It's already damaged from the shipping, but no problem for the inside, I guess. And overall, it comes with 185 parts and it can be loaded and then it will run for one minute according to the description i'm not sure what's uh, the build time but we will find out i will just stop the time for you and we will just check it out and there will be of course something special since we since we are before christmas so there will be a small giveaway in this video more about that later on. So let's just get this one out of the box and see how the parts are boxed. So this will take some time to assemble. So just get it on. Okay, so short break. I finished most of the gears. Um, maybe some information about the kit itself until now. Um, the disassembly here from these plates of the single parts is sometimes a little bit difficult, especially these small ones you can see here. Are difficult to get out by hand, so you should rather use a screwdriver for this. Anyway, um, the assembly is quite good. So I can push together all by hand. It's pretty solid, so there's no movement at all. And um, I expect this will perform pretty well later on when it's assembled together. And um, there also is something here that looks like a clutch to me. Let's see when we put it uh, together what this will be for. So, why I was doing the assembly, I thought a little bit about the giveaway. Let's do it the following way. Um, I put a link in the video description here to Wooden City. You can browse their website, just check out their models. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video, of course. And what is your favorite model. And I will see if I can arrange um, a giveaway that one of you, I will pick a winner and one of you will get a free model, okay? And um, you can comment here on Facebook, you can comment on uh, uh, here on YouTube, sorry, and you can also comment on Facebook. This will double your chances. So um, just check out the website and let me know. Now I will continue here with the assembly of the clutch I mentioned before. And um, as you can see, it's more or less like in a like a clutch that used in a bike that can rotate in one direction but not in the other direction. So in this direction, counterclockwise, it's blocked. So this is how it works. They, I, I added here a rubber band, and the rubber band pressing these um, pieces of the clutch to the inside. And you get this delivering the spring effect and you can hear 
working quite good and in the other side it connects to the gear and on this side it's free to rotate. Okay, so I prepared two sides now with these little things that keeps the axis here inside that it won't move out. And now I think it's time for the assembly. So we now built the housing here as you can see here in the structure. We're gonna continue now building the housing and at the same time putting in the gears we already prepared. So let's see how it works out. and. In case you're still curious what this kinetic picture means or does, now you can get a first impression. If I will put this here, it gives you this hypnotic effect. And this will be for sure much better later when the frame and everything is assembled. So all of the parts are now inside and the gear is functional as you can see if I twist this wheel down here. Now I think I need to finish the housing here that gets a little bit more rigid and afterwards I'm not still not sure how this will function, how the energy will be stored. Probably it will be added here through, these, through this key but I'm still not um, sure how the energy will be stored inside here, probably through two of these rubber bands but um, not sure how this should work out so I'm really excited to see the result. Finally, it's done. It took me two and a half hours to finish it. Let me quickly explain you how it works before I show you how it looks like. Okay, so you got a lot of gears here and you got here the um, main gear, let's say, that provides you this um, kinetic sculpture effect. Okay, so how does it work? You're gonna tension it up here and here inside this part there is the clutch we have been looking earlier before. So I can, use, I can rotate this in one direction to tension it, okay? So I tension it now. And then, while I'm tensioning it, I'm using this little cord here to apply the tension to a rubber band. Because the cord will be, if I twist it around here, the cord will be twisted or wrapped around down here. It will go along here all the way around here, down here, continue down here, and then it will be here connected to a rubber band. I actually added another rubber band, so I have two of them. According to the instructions, only one, I think. But if you add two, you get a little bit more power, and it runs a little bit faster and smoother from my point of view. 
and the rubber band is attached here. So what happens here if I start tensioning over here and twisting like so, I'm tensioning the rubber band down here, okay? So I will do this right now. I will tension it. So let's say until here, okay? Until the rubber band is about here. And um, now there is a lever or small brake over here. And as soon as I push this one down, it will release this wheel here. The wheel will start spinning and then the gear will do its job and in the end this one will start spinning and you get this nice kinetic sculpture effect. And this is what I show you now. For this I will just turn it upside uh, upright. Let me just switch the camera. So I will just use my smartphone for the first demonstration. And as soon as I press this one down it should start. And this it does as it should and yes it works what's also pretty cool is that you can attach it here up here to a wall or wherever you want you can place it in your shelf but also you can attach it to a wall this is probably what I will do with it amazing I will do you I, you know what I will do some more detailed shots here of this effect and yeah that's it for today so I hope you liked this episode. If you liked it, let me just know in the comments. I hope you will participate in the giveaway special. And um, until next time, keep on puzzling. Bye.